Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I am back today, not with uh, wax packs open, but I did do a collection buy. You know how I like to do these collection buys every once in a while. I think I got a pretty good deal. Let me explain what I got here. Got it. so I got um, this guy had a, tons of stuff. First of all, and he, you know, he was kind of all over the place in terms of what he was putting together. He he definitely loved to organize and collect things like a lot of us do. Um, so what I picked up was. A box that could be a 1984 Donruss baseball complete set. It might be missing something. I'm not really sure. Um, so that's what I'm going to open today. Big question mark about what some of the things that are going to be in there. Also got a 1983 Donruss, maybe set or not. 1982 uh, Donruss, maybe full, maybe not. 1982 Fleer, maybe full, maybe not. Um, plus some 1982 top sticker cards. Uh... The 19, I'm not sure what year, but the rub off cart, rub off like things, the top, I think it might be 86 rub off set. And then a box of 3,500 kind of random cards put together. So all that for 60 bucks, which to me was a good deal, especially if these sets end up being complete, that's a game changer. So we're going to open up this 1984 Donruss box. I don't know what is in here and what is not. As you guys are all probably thinking, is there a Don Mattingly rookie card in here? Because that's the one that would be the, the valuable one. Um, looks like here are the puzzle cards. And, and this is what indicated to me that perhaps it is a complete set because puzzle cards. If you have the complete puzzle set, then maybe you've got the full set. Um, beyond that, what I'm also looking for is um, uh, Ryan Sandberg, which I don't have in my collection. The Nolan Ryan, which I don't have in my collection. And there are some errors and variations in here too, specifically with the Diamond King set, and then a couple cards that may or may not have a number on the back. So they're in somewhat of an order. So I, I think that we'll, you know, I guess we'll go through the order and see what we can get. Um, there's also a, a uh, Richard Barnes card as an uncorrected error that has the wrong guy on it. It's got um, uh, Neil Heaton on there. You know, you know, I love those cards when it's the wrong person. So this is the Diamond King's this year look silly. They just look silly. Um, <laughs> they only went with this design one year and they went back to the more traditional one that we all kind of know. So the, air, the, the, the on these Diamond Kings, it's the question of Perez Steel. It should actually be uh, an extra E on the end of Steel for the correct name. This means that this is the error card, but there are much more of the errors than there are the non-errors. So. We're gonna go here and see see what we can find. So there's a Fred Lynn, Lance Parrish, Bruce Souter, Dave Ragetti, Al Oliver, Dave Dravecki with no mustache. That's, that's crazy. Jack Clark, Russell Staub, Leon Durham, Dwayne Murphy, Robin Yap. So there's a nice one. And here's the Diamond Kings checklist, which I think is not numbered. Yeah, that's correct. Additional information on his on Dick Perez's works is available by writing to Perez and here's his address in Fort Washington, Pennsylvania. That's great. And then these uh, checklists are numbered in the corner here. And since these, they are, I mean, again, it looks like it's probably the full set in order. It's just a question of whether or not it's people have cherry picked some things. All right, so here's George Brett. Um, Fernando Valenzuela. Dave Winfield, Jim Rice, and certainly these are not picked out and they're in order still. Robin Young. These are such a good looking set. I mean, these are good looking cards. This is not a set that I've spent much time with either. So these are all kind of new to me. Eddie Murray. I mean, look, these are the, oh, so we're into the rated rookies now. This is the first year of Donruss rated rookies. They didn't have their, their signature look yet. Um, the rated rookie that we'd be looking for would be Joe Carter, I guess. In here. Mike Fuentes. There's Greg Gagne. Tim Teffel. These are all people who uh, ended up playing the lead. Oh, there's a Tony Fernandez. He ended up having a really good career. Ron Darling. All right, so this is one of those ones that is a question of, is there a number on the back? Is there? There's not. So we have the error card with no number on the back for the Ron Darling rated rookie. That's awesome. Stoked about that one. And then Mike Stenhouse is the same thing. No number. Fantastic. That's really cool. Really excited about that one. Wade Boggs, Diamond King. Mike Schmidt. 
Look at that. Iconic shot there. Eddie Murray looking happy. Larry Parrish. Wow, so that was really cool. So far, so far, this is pretty awesome. And I love the, like the teal background of these two. I mean, like you just don't see baseball cards like this. And there's a Ricky Henderson, so clearly. So it really looks like all the stars are in here. This has not been picked through, which I didn't, you know, I wasn't taking anything for granted here. Um, but the real question is going to be whether we have that Don Mattingly or not. Dale Murphy, Jack Clark, Steve Garvey, Pete Rose. I love seeing him choke up on that bat like that. Oh, there's the Nolan Ryan. Yes. And these are in fantastic shape, by the way. A little bit of a, a bowing you can kind of see there, but um, nothing that I'd be really concerned about. So that's awesome. So I'm putting that one aside. I'm putting that in my personal collection. There's Ozzie Smith. Um, yeah, for those of you who are wondering, if it is a complete set, I am... There's Reggie Jackson and Ricky Henderson. I'm not going to be, and Gary Carter, I almost missed that one. Um, I'm not gonna be keeping this set together. I'm gonna be breaking it up. Sorry, all you purists, but uh, it's not what I'm interested in is having just full sets sitting around. Steve Carlton, Fred Lynn, Paul Molitor. There's the Cal Ripken. Card for him. I think there are 650 or 660 cards in this set. Andre Dawson. Man, he looks like this is when he was like probably as physically fit, most fit and best. Like he just looks strong there. All right. There's the Andy Van Slyke, and that's his rookie. I know that's one of another one of those cards in there that people are excited about. Um, actually, I'm probably put these back back in here. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with this broken up set, but we'll we'll see. I'm definitely taking the Nolan Ryan out of there and the, and the Ryan Sandberg out because I do not have those in my personal collection, and I'd like to. Tom Baylor, there's Wade Boggs. Second year card for him. John Walkenfuss. <laughs> that's a, I don't know why that's so funny to me. It just is. Here's what makes this even more fun. Maybe I should know this, but I don't know where the Don Mattingly is in the set. So these are in order. I could probably look it up, but it's so much more fun if I don't know. There's Burt Blylevin, Hall of Fame guy there. Bill Buckner, Tom Seaver, Chili Davis, Tony Pena, Mike Schmidt. It's a good looking card of him. You can see I'm in a different spot right now. I just uh, chose a different place to do this video today. Jerry Remy. If you're a Red Sox fan, then that's a great card to have. Yeah, these are all in really good shape. So, I mean, I think it's it's a hand collected set if it is a set, um, but it appears they probably all came from the same place. There's Lou Whitaker, Dusty Baker. Cause they don't they're not like varying degrees of. Um, Condition. They're all pretty much the same condition. Julio Franco. And yeah, second year card for him. Fergie Jenkins. Phil Negro. Both Hall of Fame pitchers there. And they definitely stacked all the better players towards the... Oh, there it is! There's the hit we were looking for, the Don Mattingly. 
I know it doesn't look like his rookie, but it is his rookie, 1984 Donruss. Look at that. Great. Actually, it is just about perfect. I mean, like, I don't know what else you can say about that one. Um, man, there you go. Don Mattingly, that's the iconic card in the set. And you know what? You know what the deal is on that one. There's Keith Hernandez. Uh, Don Mattingly is the favorite player of my body, Polly Pax. For those of you guys who know Polly Pax, go over and check out his YouTube channel. But um, he actually was went and, and uh, worked some deals on the, with this guy too. I think he didn't get as good of a deal as I did. But this is going over to Polly Pax. Congratulations, Paul. Um, he did say he'd, because he picked up an 83 Fleer um, incomplete set uh, as well. And I think there was a, a Ryan Sandberg rookie in there. So we're going to do a little swap probably for that. But um, there you go, Polly Pax. Don Mattingly, rookie card. That's the one we were all looking for. So I would say that this is a complete set, uh, which is super fun. There's Carlton Fisk. Um, super fun, except for I'm breaking up the set. So sorry, folks. This is, there's going to be one less 1984 Donruss set out there in the world. I'll just fly through uh, the rest of these, see if there's anything of interest. I do want to try and see that that uh, Richard Barnes card for the wrong photo. There's Willie McGee. He never looks like he knows what's going on, but but a phenomenal ball player. There's Rod Carew. He on the hand looks like he's having a great time. It's Rick Sutcliffe. Tony Gwynn, look at that, that's a good card right there. Tony Gwynn. Not the Randy Johnson, not the big unit. <laughs> Different Randy Johnson. There's a Ryan Sandberg, that's the other one I was looking for. That's a good looking card, yes. So that's a nice one to add to my collection. We'll put that next to the Nolan Ryan. Um, when I was making this deal, I had the option to get this one or an 85 Don Russ complete set, uh, which for me, the you know, I know there are no, there's Kirby Puckett rookie, there's Roger Clemens, there's you know other ones in there, but I think this set was just one I was more interested in from the look, and and I've never really seen a lot of them, and um, the hard part for me, there's Goose Gossage, was that uh, the '85 has a rated rookie for Sean Dunstan, which is you know as known as my favorite player, so I. Decided not to take that one, even though I had the Sean Dunstan, because I have that Sean Dunstan card, and I knew that this would have, um, where it should have, Nolan Ryan and Ryan Sandberg, which I did not have. So there's Joe Morgan. So hope I made the right call there. I think I did. This is a, a really nice set, and uh, one that I'm after this video, I'm probably going to go through very slowly and check them all out and. You know, dive in a little bit more, get more familiar with, with uh, this whole box. But super exciting. Jack Morris. No mustache, Jack Morris. Holy cow. It's like a whole other person. Don Sutton, Hall of Fame pitcher. Kent to cool, I love finding him. Um, nice sidearm pitcher there with uh, a good, fun attitude about baseball. I didn't know when he was playing. But I have learned in my later years of looking at these cards that he had quite the uh, sense of humor, which is fun. Let's see when this uh, Richard Barnes is who we're looking for here. There's Royal Canyon Boyd. Oh, you know what? I said this is a complete set, but it didn't have the Joe Carter. So it's not a complete set. So you guys can forgive me for uh, for not, uh, for, but I didn't, I didn't like break it up because um, it was not a complete set. Missing the Joe Carter rated rookie. But it seems like everything else is in here.
Yeah, there were there are no other cards that I was expecting to see that I'm not seeing. That didn't have the, the Joe Carter. Which, again, was one of the better cards in the set, I think. Bruce Suter. If you guys know anything about uh, the 84 Donruss set, please let me know. I'd love to hear more facts or thoughts about it. From what I understand, it was not printed in the same quantities as the sets that came before it or the sets that came after it. So it is a, it's not going to be rare, but it is a little more um, a little more challenging to find them. It's a little harder to, to come across, and especially in good condition. There's Jim Palmer. So, again, I just thought it was a really good opportunity to get to know a new set. And oh, Okay, so here's something else I know. So there's a Living Legends series. Um, two bonus cards, and I was expecting... Oh, it's got both of them. I didn't think it was going to have both of them. This is the, the A and the B card. And it has the uh, San Diego chicken for some reason, which you could send away. Yeah, so you can send away to get it autographed. I'm not sure why they were so excited about the chicken, but they were. Yeah, so you can send away to get it autographed, the self-addressed stamped envelope. So the Living Legends is the Yaz, Carter, Stremski, and Johnny Bench, and the Gaylord Perry and Raleigh Fingers. There's the Duke Snyder puzzle piece. There's, wait, hold on, where's Gary Pettis? There's, where's that Gary Pettis card? That's the real Gary Pettis, not his little brother, like the 1985 Tops card, so. There's Eckersley. Here's what's funny. The Running Reds. It should have been the Running Redbirds. That's uh, Willie McGee, Ozzie Smith. These are the Cardinals, so it should be the Redbirds. Let's see if it says on the back. Yeah, on the back it says Running Redbirds. Lonnie Smith, Ozzie Smith, David Green, and Willie McGee. And they just decided not to put... They put Reds on the front, which is the wrong team. That's an uncorrected error, I believe. Richard... Barnes. I'm looking for that Richard Barnes. Didn't see it. Maybe I just flipped over it. Should be number 608. I should be able to look, look it up real quick. No, it should be right there. Oh, there he is. Richard Barnes. Wrong guy. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that rip. Um, congrats to me on a cool find. And this Don Malley goes off to Polypax. I will talk to you guys later, and I'll have more things to break from this collection.